says that he trusts his coaches to put him in the right like, situation. That, that was a great answer. But for real, <laughs> trust this guy. Because Reggie Bush knows as well as anyone what it's like to be in his position to be a dual threat back yeah. with return capabilities. Mm -hmm. Also, I like the way that LT phrased the question to him. Mm -hmm. How much is too yeah. much for Alvin Kamara? Well, I loved his answer because he said, I'm going to trust my coaches. He's going to have to go out there for those four, four games very well. He runs strong. One of those running backs is going to have to emerge Alvin Kamara. Should he be returning punts because he has been in that mix out there at camp? Is that too much? I don't think so. No, no. you like it all. I'm excited for him because this is going to be his first really true test in his second year. You know, well, it's interesting. We heard him talk about how last year he was still thinking. Yeah. And that yeah. obviously forces yeah. you to play at a slower speed. So it it'll does. be interesting to yeah. see what he's like when he's 100%. not thinking out yeah. there. <laughs> Reggie Bush has spent five years uh, with the Saints, who we spent a lot of time with mm -hmm. today live on Inside Training Camp Live. Tomorrow, it will be the Chicago Bears. Haven't even had a practice yet, and they've already lost one of their best defenders. Uh, DJ, you are on their radio yeah. team as of about a week ago. <laughs> you know this team relatively well. How bad is this for them? Well, I hate it for Jason Verrett. Uh, yeah, I got a feel for Ver uh, Verrett coming off that knee injury. Excited about getting back out there. And then this. Uh, good to hear that you still like the Chargers' chances, though. Another team that people seem to be pretty high on right about former Giants offensive lineman. I would imagine you like hearing what she said there about Hernandez. I do. I, I love the culture. I mean, obviously, there's the on-air, on-the-field play. But the mindset that this offense got in formations, and I think they're going to be better in the short yardage and the goal line. But uh, I think those those factors are, are going to be ironed out. I've seen some notes about Connor Barwin and Nate Solder out there on the field exchanging notes. He was a late pickup, Connor Barwin. How yeah. uh, important do you think? Little guy, but he doesn't say a whole lot, which is good. But he's a do. Giants looking to improve dramatically. Uh, they and every talent is there. The numbers are there. What does he need to do to take the next step? Well, I spoke to his head coach, Anthony Lamb, yesterday, and he believes that he is on his way to becoming one of the big three in 2016. And Lynn believes that catch the ball as well. Uh, so everything seems to be pointing up for Melvin Gordon. And that offense, those carries. Make the most of the chances you do get. Yeah. Of course, a good O-line can help in that department. They should be better with Mike Pouncey uh, picked up in free agency. They'll also have Forrest Lamp back. Year, that is apparently, Willie, wow. what the numbers bear out. What about the videotape? When you watch the Rams, do you see the type of impact that she's talking about there? Absolutely. He's the defensive player of the year, and that's not just because he's just out there. He's dominating the game in a lot of different phases, and there was a one-man wrecking machine. Yeah, Seahawks couldn't do much of anything Thing against no. him last year. Uh, is he more valuable than Khalil Mack? Should he be the one that's, if this is a stare down, like I want to be the highest paid player, uh, which one should go first? Aaron Donald's just the guy you can't stop. Uh, they're both good. They're both going to be highly paid. Uh, they're both going to be at home right. on Saturday <laughs> when their two teams face off at 4 o'clock Eastern.